There she is, turning the world on with a smile. Trevor, what are you doing here? I want to talk to you about something. Is this session today? I've been thinking. I thought I heard something. I'm matching up 100 couples, one at a time. It's taking way too long. Trevor, that is great. Reality poking its head out for the first time. Good for you. You know what? I've got to think grander. Start a new religion. Ah, oh, reality just saw a shadow. Six more weeks of dementia. Think about it. Sun Young Moon marries off 100 couples, right? Considers it an off day. What? Forgetting that it took him a lifetime to establish himself as a, a religious leader. But I'm a god. I already have a head start. Okay. Poverty, uh, humility, celibacy. As your psychologist, I have to tell you, it's not your strong suit. My religion is going to be fun. Cupidians will cruise through the airport with a small cup that says keg fun. Cupidians? Hey, I'll need a high priestess. A woman who embodies an unattainable carnal archetype. A glimpse of heaven for the pilgrims. A nude for stained glass. Oh, rats. Here, I've got this hoity-toity dinner party tonight, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, who was asking? I only want to know if you can get me in touch with Courtney Love. Sunset and Vaughn last night? No. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't watch TV. He said self importantly. <laughs> oh, come on. What's the point? All the shows are the same. Not true. There are cops and there are doctors. Ah, but they're all lovable. Yeah, say a lead character uh, Jay walks in the beginning of an episode. He'll spend the rest of the show attempting to redeem him. Well, uh, what about Thurston Howell? The castaways would have been off that island seven or eight times if he hadn't done something greedy or self serving. They never redeemed him. <laughs> but this brings us back to something even more nefarious about Sunset television. Sunset and Vaughn. It was a two parter. No one saw. No. Oh, the, negative way, the negative way that television portrays the leisure classes. Oh, God. It's true. Oh, Jennings, you're with me on this one, aren't you? Uh, you get together like this every month? Yeah, yeah, we started uh, doing this back when we were merely grad students sharing leftovers, Instead right? Instead of the powerful mm -hmm. academicians sharing leftovers we are today. But hey, <laughs> it's the University of Chicago. Oh, you have seen. That reminds me of a joke. How does the joke go, Jennings? Oh, uh, there's this little fellow who uh, sweeps up after the elephants at the circus, and someone asks him why he doesn't quit. And, and, and... And, and, and he says what? And leave show business? <laughs> what, what department are you in, Jennings? <clears throat> Linguistics. Oh, uh, uh, do your trick. The, uh, oh, you know, that's the, right. That is so, yeah. that is so good. Trick? Do Claire. Oh, he's ah. done the rest yeah, of us. Yeah, he has? Okay. <laughs> Tell me, in your own words, the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Look, lady, there is no Albert here. Mm -hmm. That is the right numbers. No. Look. Who am I? I'm the god of love. Why, you want me to hook you up? Hmm. Or Jeter Tiger. I tell you what, Passion Kettle. Look, the last time we are fresh out of Albert. Oh, no! Give me the fuck! Oh, you know what? There is an Albert here, but he fell off the roof. We're just squatting Jason. in his apartment until the Gaja runs out. Give me the phone! Mama? Oh, no. I thought your name was Champ. Damn it. The stage name. You chose that name? Look, stage names, if you can't think of one, they say you should take the name of your first pet. Wow. There's nothing wrong with Albert. Well, you obviously didn't grow up black and overweight in America, then. You don't know that. <laughs> Which isn't an excuse uh, for the wolf, but at least we understand his rage. Uh, viewed as the archetype of sexual aggression, the wolf... Make her stop. I think I have everything I need. For? Your profile. My what? You were raised in California. It's a big state. San Jose. Jennings, you're amazing. One of your parents is from the south, the deep south. Uh, you went to school in Los Angeles, UCLA, probably. 
before coming to Chicago to do your graduate work at mm -hmm. Northwestern. Slacker. You, you got all of that from Little Red Riding Hood? A semester at Oxford probably explains Grandma's lovely cottage. Oh, my God. All right, you're yawning. Bye. I'll see you later. Okay, I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Next time, your house. Okay. Thank you. Um, Jennings, um, do you have a minute? Sure. He honestly believes he's Cupid? Oh, he's convinced. He says he's banished to Earth until he gets 100 couples together. And you think I can help? Well, I just, we just can't figure out who he really is. And if I could find out where he's from, you know, what, what happened to him, I, I know I could help him. Are you sure he'd be willing to speak to me? Oh, well, we're not going to tell him what you're doing. I know how I can get him to talk to you. Are you single? I've got the singles group. I said we get started. Doctor, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, I wasn't sure it's that I'd be... It's not a problem. You are doing me the favor, but we really, really have to hurry. It is high time the piercing light of truth cuts through the dim veil of psychobabble that we wade through each week. I want to see the hands of everyone that comes here, not for the yakety yakking of the overeducated and undersexed, but instead who thought, fresh meat. All right? Tons and tons of fresh single meat, you know? Scoring here is going to be easier than Patrick Swayze making it happen at a strip mall. Let me see your hand. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, what a bunch of hypocrites. Each and every one of you. Look at right here. Perfect example. Okay. Look at the shoots of hot iron curled bangs that cascade tantalizingly down to the eyes. Eyes, by the way, painted with no less care than the Sistine Chapel. Total prep time, 90 minutes. All right? Oh. You know who this is? <clears throat> Ladies, nice to see you, my man. Do you have any idea who this gentleman is? This right here is the guy that pops his head out of the manhole cover just in time to look up your culottes. He wants no fries go with that shake. You can hear him bellowing from the Sears Tower, nice rock! But he's in disguise, you know? He's hosed himself down, and it's the first time he's worn a jacket that doesn't have his name stitched on it. You want to know why? Because the boy is horny. And Smart Money says that if you're here, you are too. Let's call this thing what it really is, all right? This is a pickup joint. Uh, Dr. Allen. Uh, Dr. Allen. Ah, uh, Claire. Claire. Claire, what you're asking me to do... Jennings, all you have to do is get up there and say you're looking for love, okay? He'll do the rest. <laughs> start without you. Oh, hi guys. Sorry I'm late, but um, it's really time we get started, so. Oh. That's nice. Sorry. Yeah. Really, people, we've got a lot of work to do tonight, so uh, finish drinks. <coughs> well, generally speaking, Lawrence, when a woman leaves something behind, an earring or a purse, Let's say it's not the nesting sign that most men automatically assume it to be. It could mean nothing more than she's forgetful. It was her grandmother's china. Oh. You may have a problem. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, we just have a few more minutes, but I, I do think that's time enough to meet somebody new. Jennings? Hello. My name is Jennings Crawford. I teach at the University of Chicago. I love my work. I have a nice townhouse. I'm 35. And I'm a virgin.
This isn't something I'm comfortable admitting in front of a room full of people, but suddenly I've realized that I could use the help, the support. My colleagues have given up on me. I think they reached a consensus that I was gay and closeted. You're not? Uh, no. So, uh, maybe you have scars, like somewhere we can't see. No. Uh, there are other kinds of scars. You've all heard stories, I'm sure, of people achieving greatness and attributing it to abstinence. They rechanneled all their sexual energy into their work. But this lately... Must be a hell of a class. Nick. <laughs> I Late... mean it, man. It's got to be like beakers exploding, field trips. Okay, you know what? That, that, thank you. I'm just oh, saying, Nick. Nick. <laughs> let, let's hear him out. Lately, my interest in my work has begun to fade, and as it's faded, all the sexuality I've repressed has started to come to the surface. For the first time in my life, I'm wishing there were someone there for me. For the first time, I feel alone. How long have you been feeling this way? Three years. Ouch. There's a formal faculty party at the end of the month. Last year, I swore to myself that I wouldn't go to another one without a date. That was my resolution. But here I am, another year older, and no closer to finding anyone. I guess what I'm asking is, can anyone help? Everything you said was strange but true. Wow. Ah, God, I'm I'm sorry. Um, oh. but we'll 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 you know we'll work it out. Right. Find someone that's right for you. We'll have to deal with your intimacy issues. And the party, the faculty party. Oh, boom! That's that's a snap. <laughs> you know, you're you're educated and, and attractive, and I'm gonna keep Trevor away from you. Oh, really? no. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. But but I really don't mind helping you with your patient. He's gonna be waiting for you. Is that determined? Yes. Trust me. Buddy, hey, want to grab a beer? Yeah, come on. See anyone here you want to take a run at? Run? Anyone here look appetizing to you? What about her? Hi. Super fantastic, good taste. For the rest of the evening, I want you to consider her your prey. <laughs> so I guess that makes me the big bad wolf. That is correct. You are the big bad wolf. Listen, Wolfie, if we play our cards right. By the end of the evening, I want her telling you what big sort of body parts you have, you know? Oh, no. Oh, Professor, what a very big cranium no. you have. Yes. <laughs> yes. Professor, I enjoy the no, way... I, so at what point do I huff and puff and blow her house down? It's excellent imagery. It's wrong fairy tales. Three little pigs. Oh, that's right. That's right. I always get them mixed up. How does Little Red Riding Hood go? There's a lash in that back roof that's going to need a lift from our checkered friends. I'll take care of it. He does have a way with the customers. Oh, that boy is crazy. Yeah, he is a handful. No, you're not hearing me. He's certifiable. Last place he lived had padded walls. I swear, if I don't show up for work one of these days, you check my refrigerator for body parts. Oh, he's harmless. You know that. I'm talking about his body parts. I swear I'm going to snap and pull an engine Joe. Engine Joe? One flew over the cuckoo's nest. You know, the, the, with the pillow. Engine Joe is Tom Sawyer, the Native American stereotype you're searching for was known simply as cheap. Fresh pot. Him then. And then in the stories, one nod to Noir. You've got the woodsman who takes his axe, slices, slices open the wolf, finds Grandma still kicking. The moral? Obvious. If you're trying to get Little Red Riding Hood in the sack, make sure there's no axe wielding maniac nearby. So, of uh, what you're saying in regards to, um. No such thing as a shy wolf. Ile qui hazitat. We're meeting Lactuo Wecto. How'd you find me? Lucky guess. Uh, 
about taking over the meeting when I was uh Don't worry about late. it. At least I could do. Don't do it again. So Flocky? No. Another thing. Jennings Crawford is a friend of mine. You must have a point. Yes. Look. The man is in his mid-30s. He's lonely. He's lacking some basic social skills. He's a uh, virgin. There's that. Yes. Your boy needs some serious help. And that is exactly what I'm going to be giving him. So, so, I, so I think maybe you should just stick to circling your personals there and let me help him. Matchmaking, huh? I want to see your union card. This is a special case. I've got a lot of friends. I think I could, you know... Frigid elitist sick of No, women, I think, would be right for him, Trevor. Right for him? What does that mean, right? Right, right. Common background, common interests, common goals. I want to be set up by a woman who uses the word common three times to describe my dream date. As opposed to uncommon, I don't know. I tell you what. While you're out somewhere cross-referencing and charting, I will be... Doing love potions, maybe? <laughs> love potions. I will be giving him the skills that he needs to survive. Okay, and which skills would these be? How to work it. Work it. All right, how to speed up the process. Y you know, I, I think Mercury's already helping him with that. <laughs> you take the high road, uh -huh. okay? I'll take the low road, and we'll see who gets to Scotland first. Trevor, I'm not going to take part in some kind of twisted contest with you. All right, well, then, you know what? You'll lose. <laughs> There's a good doctor. You got a minute? Uh, actually, I have a class to teach. That's cool. I'll sit in. Come on. It's well, mostly attitude. You know, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. I tell my students the same thing. Do you mind if I record this? I may want to get it all down later. No problem. Just... Okay, right there, 10 o'clock. Okay, you see that? Ooh, she's a luscious little snack pack, oh, right? she, She's awfully, uh, I don't know, young? I think the word you're looking for is impressionable. No, she's, um, she's a student. Excuse me. Do you have a sec? My friend and I have a bet as to what flavor lip gloss you're wearing. Now, I say it's strawberry. He's uh, demanding that it's cherry. Okay, Wh what's my line? Why don't you taste it for yourself? <laughs> Good work. That is the uh, line. You're not really expecting me to go through with this, Well, are you? you can do whatever you want, but if the spirit moves you, you know, you definitely have free will. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like you to meet my friend. This is uh, Professor Wolf. Uh, Crawford, actually. Uh -huh. Professor of... Anatomy. Uh, Anatomy. Anatomy. I've got to get to class. So, who can give me a theory of the evolution of language? Ye. Oh, as in ye of little faith. No, as in ye, Old Town Tavern. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about beer with you, isn't it, Stevens? But the ye you're talking about, that's an evolution of an alphabet, more than an evolution of language. In that time, the letter Y represented the TH sound. The pronunciation hasn't actually changed. Yes? Uh, didn't the absence of a class system in the American colonies result in a more homogenized dialect? Reading ahead, Ms. White, I am impressed, but it's a flawed theory. How so? Well, we most certainly do have a class system here, and it's most obvious in our accents and dialects. Now, tell me, Ms. White, would you rather have your son marrying a woman who excuses herself so that she can freshen up, <laughs> or one who does the same so that she can take a squat? <laughs> All right, now I want you to turn to page 42 in your text. I don't care whether it's been seasoned with powdered tusk of white rhino. I want ketchup. Fine. Enjoy your trout in the Heinz sauce. You know what? As cool and relaxed as you are in a classroom, that's how you got to be with a woman. Oh, easier said than done. In class, I know all the lines. Do you like that all the time? Yeah, I got a good metabolism. Metabolism. If I ate like that, I would blow up. Can I try one of my desserts, Professor? Uh, I... What do you recommend? No one complains about my death by chocolate. <laughs> Guess they wouldn't. There you go. I got that for you. Thank you. All right. What's her story? Uh, she's not a student, but she audits my classes. I have no idea why. It's obvious, buddy. Oh, damn it to hell! Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she, I mean, she's never acted. Listen, I tell you what. Are you willing to do a little tutoring? Uh, tutoring? Yeah, tutor her, you know? You're a teacher, you know the lines. I guess. 
He wants to tutor me. Why? Totally selfish reasons. He's a bachelor, you know. Every night, fish sticks, chimichangas, frozen fruit pies. He wants me to cook for him. Yeah, he says his best meals are from here. A meal a night and he tutors me, huh? Uh-huh. It's a hell of a bargain. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Totally worth it. Even if it does mean spending another hour with one of those boring elitist windbags. Hey! What? You mind deciphering this for me? That is a note about your audition for Sunset and Vaughn? Two o'clock. How'd it go? Well, I had a little problem, see? Y you did? What happened? I got the time wrong. Why is that? To us mortals, this looks like an 11. Yeah? You know, I hope you don't take this in the wrong way, because I got nothing but love for the mentally ill. I wouldn't give a damn if you thought you were the Ayatollah Khomeini if you picked up after yourself, paid your rental time, and got me my messages. But no, that's not the case. And this was strike three. So as soon as you can find you another place, you're out. The Ayatollah would suck as a roommate, just so you know. Okay, let me get this straight. He likes big band music, mm -hmm. heights. He builds his own. And ping pong. He played for the Harvard club team. So you can see why he's such a chick magnet. So what do you think I should look for in a woman for him? Respiration. Are you sure he likes women? Yes. Angel hair pasta in a walnut chili ají pesto. Uh, for me? There was a deal. Huh. Uh, yes. Mm. Uh, thank you. So, Kate. You know my name. Ugh. What am I saying? Of course you don't. Wake up, Kate. What can I help you with? I want to talk right. There's no such thing as a right way to talk. Oh, please. Let's not kick this off with a lie. I want to sound smart. Educated. Why? Because the only places that'll hire a chef that sound like this are on the interstate, and they're open 24 hours. All right. OK. Uh, well, he's, he's handsome. He's smart. He's got a great job. Yeah, Jennings, Dr. Jennings Crawford. Uh, um, well, there's this one thing you should probably know. He's, he's a, a virgin. Shy. Carolyn, I'm sorry about... Hello? That's, that's good. Great, great, great. You would rather that poor man be lonely than I find him someone that could make him happy? I believe in truth in advertising. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. Let me tell you why. I am Ulti not interested. But you're well-proportioned, that counts for something. Interested. Not interesting. Okay, and you smell good. So, how are, how are you doing? Any romantic prospects out on the lunatic fringe? Are you allowed to talk to me that way? Yes. No. No, I'm not, or no, no romantic prospects? Yes. What? I'm not playing this game. <laughs> not very well, at least. Fine, you know what? You're the semantics grand champion. You win. Thank you. <sighs> Trevor, come here. Come here. Now. What? Now, I think I have a ribbon in here for you. Would you, uh, would you like blue There's no or need red? to be okay, patronizing, fine. Would, okay? Would you settle for a happy day sticker? Okay, you know what? The answer is no. I thought I hooked the good doctor up with someone, but I was way off base, so. Can I have my happy face? R is a letter, not a pit stop. Let's try it again. Take the car to the bar. Take the car to the bar. Uh, two, 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 same as after the number one. I said two. You said ta, to the bar. Screw you, I said two. Take the car to the bar. The, not duh. Let's try it again. Take the car to the bar. You know what? This was a stupid idea. You have no clue how hard this is. It's like trying to learn a foreign language. And what's with the tape recorder, huh? You gonna play it for your esteemed colleagues? Get a good laugh out of it? Point me out in the dining hall. Say, there she is. The one in a hairnet. I got a pretty good idea of what it's like. Where'd that come from? 
South Boston. Home sweet home. And you just changed the way you speak? I grew up smart in a part of town where smart got your butt kicked on a near daily basis. I didn't exactly fit in. Got all 30 miles away for college. Harvard. My first day there, my new roommate asked me if I could fix a leaky sink. He assumed I was a custodian. So, um... What'd you do? I... fix a sink. But my point is... I didn't fit in any better there. But I decided I'd learn how to fit in. Broke down the speech patterns of the rich kids around me. Hardened my vowels. Clipped my consonants. It fascinated me how easy it was to change. Change the way I spoke. Changed people's perception of me. So, Kate, if you really want to do this, I'm here to tell you it can be done. Trying not to learn Since this is the perfect spot to learn Teach me tonight Starting with the ABC of it Right down to the XYZ of it Help me solve the mystery of it 500. 500. Drachmas, US, US dollars. Yes, put them on like, a, like, a, like a virgin discount. Buddy, I'm not buying that for a second. Oh, oh no, not me. Not me? You know, I got a buddy. He needs a kickstart. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got me? I got so many notches in this belt, I can barely keep my pants up. What belt? St. Jude's fundraiser that night. Oh, that's that's too bad. I mean, good, you know, for them. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I understand. Yeah. But I'm telling you, it's your loss. He's a great guy. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hi. The guy at the music counter sent me down here. Said you were the expert. All right. I found the 1939 radio broadcast of Glenn Miller, but I was wondering if you have any of the earlier recordings. Well, uh, the... excuse me. Um, I'm Claire. Did you mention Glenn Miller? I uh, yes. Are you a fan? Hey there, Professor. Jerry. Thanks. My favorite. Thanks, Nick. Jennings, I just wanted to let you know you have nothing to worry about. I'm relieved. The party. The faculty party. Yeah, yeah, I've got a lead on the perfect girl for you. Uh, I'm still doing a little background checking, but so far, so good. Yeah. I'll be there, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm Kevin's in case of emergency break last day. <laughs> so, um, hey, I was wondering, any, any breakthroughs in the Trevor front at all? Ah, th that's an interesting case. Mm -hmm. He doesn't... Hunt's still uh, on. Yeah, okay. Uh, Hunt? Uh, what, what, what kind of a hunt? You don't want to know. Uh, I, actually, I, I would like to know. <laughs> Joint you want to come to? Yeah, a friend of mine says this place really hops. Yeah, well, you know, there's some spots in Beirut that hop. I just wouldn't imagine Jennings, you. What are you doing here? Come on over, sit with us. Look at you, Dr. Love. Let me catch up with you. Come on. Nate, Donna, this is Jennings and uh, I don't know. Trevor. It's me. Hello, Hello Donna. Hello. Uh, how do you guys know each other? Uh, we got thrown out of the pet shop, boys. Uh, too rough hewn. But uh, forced us to bond. <laughs> so, Maeve, Donna, listen. I love the music of your people. And I like to party and I like to get down. Which one of them? Both of you. I'm Lucky Pierre. Come on, everybody wins. Come on, you little freak. Have yeah, fun, girls. <laughs> Have them early, Mom. Watch out. Hey, 
So that's why you missed all those classes last semester. I assumed you had something against the dip song. <laughs> um, you know how I sit in on your classes? I know that you work lunches at the faculty dining room every day except for Friday. Yeah, I, uh, I assist in a culinary class on Fridays. I know that it's you who loosens the salt shaker on Dean Wetland's table. <laughs> I know that you always wear black the day after a bear's loss. How do you know what... Kate O'Donnell, I knew your name long before the day you showed up in my office. Doctor, how'd it go? You asked Kate to the faculty shindig? Did you say shindig? Shindig, blowout, bruha, whatever you ask her. The shindig didn't come up. Really, it didn't come up. That's that's great, it didn't come up. So uh, I guess at no point during your lengthy and intimate conversation did she say to you, Jenny, guess what? I'm, I'm clairvoyant. So I, I know all about this party that you're desperate to find a date for, and it's obvious you and I like each other, so I was thinking that maybe you should just ask me. Did it ever come up, something like that? I think I could have taken them all from there. Monday is your deadline. For what? You ask her or I will. Yes. An interview at La Poubelle. That's fantastic. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Chicago. I was saying that very thing at the club the other day. Well, you should do something to celebrate it. I thought I'd bathe my Weimariners, hop in the Range Rover, buzz up to Barney's, then down to Champagne. There's this little... Little? Little bakery, I know. I heard it was an offer for wheat. Yes, but the grain in Champagne <laughs> grows <laughs> mainly on the plain. <laughs> <laughs> By Jove, I think she <laughs> got it. <laughs> Kate, I... Uh, yes. You know about the faculty formal party? know it. I gotta work it. You have to go to that dull fest, don't you? At least I get paid to show up. What about it? Uh, I, 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 I was... I thought maybe... I, I, was, I was wondering if... Uh, come in. Hi. Uh, is this a good time? I'm tutoring. Oh. But we were just about finished. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't call first. I was right over at the library. Anyway, you know, it doesn't even matter. The point is, everything is taken care of. Taken care of? Yeah, for the party. Her name's Monique Matheson. She's perfect. Stanford product. She's uh, out here playing with the Philharmonic. And she can't wait to meet you. Wow, Clara, that's great. We were never having a contest. Would have been crass. Exactly. Unprofessional. Without a doubt. And you would have lost. Would have lost? Mm -hmm. No, no. I just won, pal. Won what? The contest we weren't having? Jennings is going to the faculty party with a wonderful woman. Yes, he is. Mm, with a woman that I set him up with. You, you set him up with? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Okay. Hey, Kate. Hey, hold on a second. Why did hey. you deep six my boy? Hey, what? Why did you tell him no? What are you talking the about? The way you were cooing all Hey, over... I will open your skull, believe it. The, whole, I, the cooing was mutual. 
The faculty formal thing. Did he ask you? No. He didn't. No, I have to work that party. I wouldn't worry about your friend. I heard he's going. And I heard it's with someone perfect. No, no, he's going with you. Hold on a second. If he would have asked you, would you have said yes? No time for pride. Would you have said yes? Okay. Saturday night, we're going to make this thing happen. I'm going to figure out a way. Okay? Trust me. Embittered lady, caustic Paul here, E16, bottom of the page. I too think that pina coladas are for SPF 75 caked overweight tourists, although I do think it applies for uh, teenage girls and parents around town for the weekend. Good God almighty, I'm a fan of stable small packages, and uh, I do not fear hugs or fireplaces. Uh, I really hey, would like a fire long walk on the beach, so give my voicemail a call when you get a moment. Let's discuss. Thanks. Welcome home. I appreciate the uh, effort. But uh, it's too late for that now. Understood. Uh, listen, they're having last-minute callbacks for that Sunset and Vaughn part. Well, that's all well and good, but what a callback means is that they've seen and liked you once already. I don't know about all that. They just said they wanted to see you there. When'd they say that? When I went down there and explained. They were very understanding. They were? Yes. Show people. Good people. People needing people. Your audition is Saturday night. Good but, luck. Uh, th that's too bad. I gotta work. That's all right. I'll cover... Saturday night. Saturday. Saturday night. <laughs> so, we're thinking the game is over. There's no time left on the clock. Here I am, this little freshman clarinet player wandering out onto the field with the rest of the band. And the next thing I know, one of the Stanford players comes crashing into me. <laughs> As I'm falling backwards, I see a cow player running in for a touchdown. I don't believe it. That was you? I, I've seen that play a hundred times on Sports Center. Play of the century. Basically, I threw the key block for the opposing team. <laughs> Not to mention the tight end had to have your clarinet surgically removed. <laughs> 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 My hair used to be longer back. I'm not buying it, man. Look, I'm 36. Trevor, he can come in. All right. Well, when Elliot Ness shows up with a battering ram, don't come crying to me. When is Champ getting here? 20 minutes ago. What's your sign? Please enjoy the bumper cars across the street. This is a no-pouting zone. Skedaddle. Scoot, scooty, scooty. Watch out for a tummy ache. Before that play, I had only the vaguest idea of what football meant to American culture. I mean, suddenly there were requests for interviews, marriage proposals from Cal fans. Are, are we lepers? I mean, have the hors d'oeuvres been over here once? Um, excuse me. I think it's a Miss? substitute for war. What? Depriving us of hummus? No, no, no. I mean, really, think about football's upside. It, it sates men's appetite for destruction. Oh, well, I'm a male, and I have no affinity with the sport. No, 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 no. See, they're tenured. They don't need free food. You have no affinity for the sport because you're a product of socioeconomic factors. How's that? Well, consider ancient Rome. All right. Wasn't the scholars of the senators out there hacking each other up for the crowd's amusement? But they were certainly spectating. Though it's doubtful they were wearing the Roman equivalent of giant cheese loaves on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> True passion for sports, contests, violence. It comes from the working classes. Excuse me, miss? Hi. Would you say that in your neighborhood, people generally get pretty worked up over football? Oh, in my neighborhood? Football's just an excuse to get drunk and fight. I mean, that's when we're not out cruising the boulevard in our tricked-out GTO singing along to Springsteen songs. Here, eat up, pal. Did I say something? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Kate, hold on. Please stop. This is very difficult, Kate. Please, please wait. Why? Why should I wait? Because you're a wicked assum. 
What else? You're smart. You're funny. You go out of hot blood. Why, Professor, this is hardly the time or place. Screw the time or place. I somehow doubt the family would approve. Then don't bring them. We're going somewhere? <gasps> Baby, we were born to run. I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. One and I got the part. That's good. They seemed very concerned about my mother. Mentioned her transplant. How is she doing? Water skiing this weekend, as a matter of fact. Brazilian woman, your mom. I was over at the library returning some books, and I uh, thought I'd stop by and see how things were going. No complaints. I guess not. Hmm. Uh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, all the time you spent with Trevor, were you able to come to any determinations regarding his background? Did you know it was Trevor who arranged my meeting, Kate? Uh, yeah, you know, he mentioned that once I mean, or twice. I mean, he said that... She needed tutoring, and he told her that I needed meals cooked. Just funny how things work out. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, even a state, even a state may he give me... He thinks he's cupid. That's really priceless. Illness is, is more the accurate uh, word, Dr. Crawford. But, um... um <clears throat> so, did you, do you think you could help? I'm sorry, Claire, and all the excitement. I didn't have time to study his dialect. Oh, uh, well, so, so when do you think... I doubt it'll be any time soon. Oh. Okay, well, um, I'm, I'm happy that, that you're happy, so. Hey, I'll, I'll see you at the next dinner party. Can't wait. Okay. Uh, Sherry, what I am hearing you say is that you're looking for a relationship that doesn't require any work. Is that too much to ask? Hey, what happened to the virgin? Jennings is, uh, seeing a very nice woman. Oh, yeah, but is he, um... <clears throat> uh, things seem to be going very well. Yes, yeah. that, because he followed my advice. Your advice? Yes. He trusted his gut and he did not wait for missed things in common. Uh, that's exactly what he did do. Uh, name one thing they have in common. Working class backgrounds. Name two things. You know what, Trevor? You made the introduction. Why don't you give yourself a pat on the back? Look at me. Watch me pat myself. I am. I am. I'm... And, and thank you for taking into consideration all the things you've learned here in these sessions. I haven't learned anything. Mm. I won't name one thing. I'm... You know, you're sounding a little defensive. No, I really, I was shooting more pissed off. You know what your problem is? Uh, Athena says I snore too much. No, that's not it. I've never head-butted a mine. Really? 